गुड मॉर्निंग वी हैव विथ अस टुडे मिस्टर अंकुर जैन ही इज अ मैनेजिंग पार्टनर एट स्वास्तिक ओवरसीज मिस्टर जैन इज ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम द दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी एंड मास्टर इन फाइनेंस फ्रॉम द अमेरिकी यूनिवर्सिटी लेटर ही वर्क फॉर द फ्यू फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक अमेरिकन एक्सप्रेस बिफोर ज्वाइनिंग टू हिज फैमिली बिजनेस ही इज अ रिनॉर्ड इंडस्ट्री लीडर Uh, has more than 17 years of experience in uh, metro and railway industry uh, swastik overseas was established in 1950 uh, as a family owned trading business further expanding to uh, manufacturer stainless steel or steels uh, for import activities in 1969 the company established uh, multiple manufacturing unit uh, in mumbai chennai delhi and bhiwari in 1993 in 2002 the group expanded its business in uh, oil and gas sector and become the respected service provider in the industry by 2005 Uh, in 2005, Mr. Jain added a new arm to the Swasti Gowarsi in the form of uh, metro and rail infrastructure, which is now the reliable partner for the industry. Thank you so much, Narendra Ji. Thank you for having uh, us in this interview. It is indeed a great, great pleasure for us. To, uh... So, sir, I I would like to uh, start with my first question. Please tell us about your uh, journey so far. and uh, your biggest uh, challenge and the how you overcome it then <coughs> the journey so far was uh, of course not very uh, sweet like <laughs> like it looks uh, we been see in 2000 like you rightly said in 2005 we started a new arm in the company mm-hmm. in the form of uh, vent- uh, venturing into the railway and metro sector mm-hmm. and uh, coming from a finance background mm. uh, and dealing with plant and machinery was the first challenge which any anybody would face of course uh, so that was one of the biggest challenge uh, faced by me plus uh, more than that uh, you know we, we normally uh, people have some kind of a godfather like you say uh, who could help you expand your business or guide you i would say in the industry which was not there in my case so for the last uh, 17 years it has always been a learning process for us and we are still learning about the, about the new technologies mm-hmm. how i overcome these is the uh, problems or issues was i we always looked at as an opportunity to mm-hmm. learn i mean you know uh, uh, learning phase is always there in everybody's lives we attended a lot of exhibitions we met with a lot of people seminars so gradually from a finance i'm i'm a half uh, engineer i would say not <laughs> so wherein we could just uh, get more and more knowledge about the products uh, we were mm-hmm. trying to sell so like learning and growing learning and keep growing keep learning keep absolutely correct absolutely, absolutely correct uh, mr jain please tell us about your new initiative uh, you plan towards the uh, towards the business expansion Narendra ji, the new initiatives uh, uh, what we had uh, we have been planning in, uh, start actually started uh, uh, in the last two years, wherein we did a lot of brainstorming between my colleagues working in the company, mm-hmm. and uh, we had identified a lot of areas where uh, we with the current policies of the Indian government, uh, like uh, Mission Ratha, semi high speed, high speed mm-hmm. railway lines. so th- that was one area where we saw a lot of potential so we have actually ventured out into uh, rail infra monitoring mm-hmm. you know rail infra monitoring is still a very niche area uh, where we don't have a lot of uh, companies a lot of uh, uh, agencies or service providers so that was one of the services we have uh, quite extensively gotten into we have done a lot of tie ups with a lot of uh, companies worldwide mm-hmm. who are providing these kind of services mm-hmm. so with that is one area which we had uh, we are majorly focusing on uh, mm-hmm. to improve because see anyways uh, to improve uh, uh, 
any kind of uh, uh, i mean the end of the day it is about speed of course so okay. when it, when we talk about speed the infrastructure which the current uh, uh, railway network is mm -hmm. having it has to be monitored accordingly to avoid any further mm -hmm. calamities mm -hmm. so that is one area we have been focusing on mm -hmm. second uh, is like see after the success of uh, the tata project uh, contract which we did uh, mm -hmm. indirectly as a subcontractor mm -hmm. for uh, the wheel axle assembly line oh. in chennai mm -hmm. and the pune metro project which we got oh. we we wanted to now now this was the right time for us to focus on uh, epc contracts so, you know we mm -hmm. this is the two areas which we have uh, focused on and we will be expanding into mm -hmm. so uh, how did the company uh, face the covid 19 setback and uh, uh, what what had been your strategy toward uh, growth and profitability uh, during the period covid 19 was uh, you know i i really don't know what to say i mean it was not a very good uh, mm -hmm. uh, timing or uh, uh, i would not so call it a process but mm -hmm. then the situation sorry the situation was such that uh, nobody i i have not heard of anybody in the industry whether in india or abroad mm -hmm. who has not suffered from this calamity mm -hmm. uh, especially i mean personally if you ask me i i lost my father because of yes, covid sir. in uh, in 2020 so i sorry to hear that sir uh, thank you yeah. uh, so you know the founder of the company you know goes away it is it, it itself is a big setback to the of course, company of but uh, one thing was very clear uh, when this pandemic started my my father was very i mean we did not follow the uh, trend which the other companies in the industry was mm -hmm. doing i mean we did not uh, fire anybody from our company yes, yes. in fact we have hired uh, since the pandemic started we have hired about 10 people uh, in the company mm -hmm. we did not cut anybody's salaries mm -hmm. we have given last year we we gave a raise uh, to every every employee of the mm -hmm. company you know my my father before he went his vision was very clear that uh, you know these people are dependent on your mm -hmm. on this company i mean this company is fe at the way it is feeding you it is feeding their families also yes, yes, so uh, i mean if you do not help them who will help them so that was one of the support uh, mm -hmm. or a confidence i would say my father gave to the company and because of which i feel, feel that you know when you when you support your people they work uh, they are more you know they see confidence in the company of their they work uh, mm -hmm. accordingly so that was one of the areas uh, in we were quite uh, blessed i would say you know that uh, business wise we did not face any issues Oh. you know we expanded multiple folds we have done the last two years we've done more business mm -hmm. than what we have done uh, in in the last five years so mm -hmm. that way we were very good uh, uh, the we were very really incredible you know yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you so much we were very we very very focused and i would i'm i'm really proud mm -hmm. of my team i mean every day we used to have meetings uh, focused meetings and uh, i mean with the clients with the suppliers among ourselves and that is that is one thing which really helped us mm -hmm. overcome this pandemic mm -hmm. uh, so what is your opinion about uh, make in india and uh, atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan mm -hmm. and uh, in what way uh, you are making effort to promote it see uh, narendra ji make in india i personally feel that uh, you know the word itself like atmanirbhar word itself says it all mm -hmm. you know aap jab bacche hote hain so mm -hmm. you know when you graduate so your parents always want ki aap ek independently cheez kare mm -hmm. so i have always linked that atmanirbhar to that independence mm -hmm. ki, why should we be dependent as a country of 130 mm -hmm. crore people why should we be dependent on anybody else okay. to supply us technology why can't we do it ourselves you know i'm i'm really happy the way uh, the current government is uh, promoting these policies mm -hmm. you know just not only generating jobs for our our people you know we are also able to retain our people uh, in the industry mm -hmm. or in india to uh, who are who go out outside india for a better lifestyle mm -hmm. so i'm i'm very happy and to be very honest uh, 
since the time this uh, policy was introduced mm. we 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 were we, we immediately started the uh, uh, what do you call it uh, processing this in i mean uh, yeah i mean taking we took action against i mean in favor of this mm -hmm. especially in the in pune metro for example i mean more than 50% of the equipments or uh, scope supply is been done from india in uh, icf chennai we have done a uh, lot of uh, uh, work in india mm -hmm. uh, cmrcl projects kmrcl projects more or less we are doing it in india mm -hmm. so that, see it is not people don't see it uh, the right way i mean i personally feel that if i'm sending if i'm buying a product from outside the country mm -hmm. there is a financial loss to the country you know in the form of forex going outside the country mm -hmm. why should that go out outside the country mm -hmm. so i'm i'm very happy with this uh, abhiyan you can call it or the initiative taken by the current government so there is a ongoing trend on the, you know uh, making india make forward you know mm -hmm. to to access the global railway market correct correct uh, yes oh. that is another thing narendra ji we have been uh, now uh, that would be the next step we would be taking into right uh, most a lot of companies we we have been working for in india uh, now with the uh with by bringing them into india you know the costing of their product is becoming cheaper so it is more viable for them to buy from us and sell it uh, in, in globally mm -hmm. then manufacturing in their own facilities mm -hmm. so taking it forward globally is a, a very i mean it's i don't see a reason why they should not do it i mean it's profitable to them also <laughs> so that is another area we are focusing on but it will take little time i mean it, it will not happen immediately it will it is a process which will take some time mm -hmm. so uh, swastik overseas was established in 1950 correct and it's been you know seven decade correct yeah. and uh, how do you feel to leading this company uh, legacy See, nineteen fifty. I mean, my uh, my grandfather. We were we technically did not belong to Delhi. We we were belong to Panipat. My grand. Sure. Post partition when he came, it, uh, you know, it is. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, altogether a very different uh, experience. You know, just keeping the name alive of of your, which was set up by your grandfather or probably my great grandfather. I'm not. Uh, I was not born at that time. But uh, so it is a proud moment for you. you know when you when the company name and the family see a company name especially uh, like a yes, owner driven yes, company yes. it is like carrying your family's family's name in the industry yes. reputation in the industry people know you by your name you know yes, that is really big uh, so mr jain please tell us about some major accomplishment uh, in the oem sector uh, and uh, how has been the company performance in the metro rail sector see uh, swastik act swastik overseas uh, started as a trading company mm -hmm. i mean it has always been a trading company so mm -hmm. it was much easier for us to uh, promote or uh, get into trading sector mm -hmm. as well in the railway sector mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. but uh, over the period uh, of last 17 years you know we have uh, grown from uh, a trader to a service provider and then eventually to a solution provider uh, you can very well see it like in the rrts product uh, project which was awarded to uh, bombardier now mm -hmm. alstom mm -hmm. a swastik overseas is practically doing everything for them you know so we have become a solution provider we have given a solution to bombardier alstom now so you know that is uh, that is a big accomplishment and especially in in a project which is being uh, done for the first time in india like semi high speed yes, so yes. Uh, that is a big i i personally feel uh, very proud about uh, the company that see from a trader we have grown into a solution yes, provider yes. and we providing all kind of services mm -hmm. i mean probably the some part of the manufacturing is happening outside the mm -hmm. country but then mm -hmm. with the make in india initiative which we have taken up in the company mm -hmm. we are manufacturing a lot of uh, products which is being supplied to the uh, for this project in india so um, see uh, country is now uh, taking you know taking a initiative for the high speed rail as well correct like mumbai ahmedabad is there and the government is also planning for um, uh, the delhi uh, to ahmedabad correct, correct. so but, i mean it, it is the swastik overseas looking forward to cater the 
high speed rail segment as well oh, definitely high speed rail is always on the chart but uh, unfortunately the mumbai ahmedabad project is uh, being funded by the japanese government yes, yes. there are certain restrictions towards uh, the uh, source of manufacturing or the uh, country of origin but uh, yes we are discussing with uh, national high speed uh, regarding the uh, mumbai delhi ahmedabad or delhi delhi varanasi projects which i i really hope that there should not be such restrictions and they should uh, company like nhrcl should also be um, uh, looking at buying equipment from uh, make in india yes, companies yes. like uh, like us uh-huh. Okay. Uh, so uh, actually, uh, what we are seeing in in our uh, country, in our, in our country, that the first project itself, like Mumbai Ahmedabad, right? Okay. High speed rail project. First project is funded by Japan, okay. Japan Jika, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, they were in the. They have some restriction, as you say. And mm-hmm. yes, there there is a restriction. So. Do you think the 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 next project? I mean the I mean let's suppose Delhi Ahmedabad or Delhi Manarasi will not have those kind of restrictions. No, like I said, we really hope so. We can only hope because, but till the time uh, these projects are off, not officially awarded, mm-hmm. you, it will be very difficult to comment on uh, what will be the restrictions uh, mm-hmm. which will be put on these uh, these projects. But the company got the technology. Correct. <laughs> so see, Shinkansen. I have personally seen seen Shinkansen in mm-hmm. Japan. Mm-hmm. So uh, it is uh, really uh, a piece of work, you know. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, for the first time, the com- these companies would want uh, to have a safer mode of maintaining these uh, rolling stocks. So I, I think uh, let's see. Let's mm-hmm. see what happens in future. Okay. Uh, How are you promoting the modern day, uh, uh, modern day urban uh, transport system? Uh, Globally, being a trusted name for railway and metro sector. See, uh, to be very honest, Narendra ji, India, India, even though we we are still considered a developing country, mm-hmm. we there is, uh, I mean, uh, there is more than seven hundred kilometers of railway uh, metro line already working. Mm-hmm. Uh, close to about thousand kilometer of metro uh, line is under construction, and there is a vision of uh, making it into the world's biggest metro network. Mm-hmm. So you know, frankly speaking, it is not just uh, see the research is not done by us. There are mm-hmm. a lot of global companies who are eyeing on India mm-hmm. as a as a potential market. Potential market. Bro. So mm-hmm. and with with swastik. Uh, the way swastik has expanded in this industry we are a well known name in the industry with uh, mm-hmm. both globally and in india mm-hmm. so a lot of companies are, are feel much comfortable working with uh, swastik so that uh, you know uh, the promotion of their companies or the any kind of a tot is, can, uh, which is being planned uh, is easy for them mm-hmm. so i think uh, we are in a very good uh, state wherein companies approach us to market them in india in even budget 2022 uh, finance minister uh, srinivas nirmala sitaraman uh, said that uh, we will get 400 new bande bharat mm-hmm. uh, train right. sets in next 3 years correct and also mentioning the innovative way to build the uh, you know metro rail system Correct. So, what what is your comment on that being a industry leader? Oh, I I don't have I I really don't have much to say. I mean, I feel very proud and excited. Four hundred Vande Bharat is uh, great. I mean, it's a huge uh, pot- uh, potential. I mean, uh, what we see for the industry. Mm-hmm. You know, when we we are talking about uh, mission raftar, uh, increasing speeds mm-hmm. uh, on these tracks, and with the Vande Bharat as a semi high speed. Mm-hmm. there will be a lot of requirements for uh, maintaining these rolling stocks so mm-hmm. when we say maintaining then there will be more depots mm-hmm. and more equipments to be sold to these mm-hmm. with new initiatives in the metro sector that is another area uh, we are trying to focus on because uh, there's a lot of uh, technology see space is always a concern of and course. with india uh, with uh, the uh, tier a uh, cities like delhi mumbai 
Chennai, you know, space is becoming a big issue for them. So it, that is one area which which uh, which we are working on to make sure that in limited space a depot uh, or a metro rail can be maintained. So uh, like Mumbai, for example, right now they are having big problems with space. It yes, car uh, set problem. Correct. So we are trying to figure out. I mean, we are trying to help them to get uh, a depot in a, in limited space. So these are. Uh, I mean, bringing in new technologies, new ways of uh, promoting, mm-hmm. or oh, sorry, uh, maintaining these uh, uh, rolling, stocks, limit, yes. rolling stocks is, mm-hmm. will become easier for them. Uh, thank you, uh, th- thank you for watching us, and uh, I, I would like to say thank you for thank you, Mr. Jain, for uh, giving us your precious time. Thank you so much, Narendra ji. It was it was a pleasure having you in the office and. A pleasure being a part of uh, Metro Rail News. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.